In this lesson, we'll talk about laser printers. Now, laser printers are fantastic. They produce very high quality output for a relatively low price. Let's talk about how it works. Now, other printers, such as a dot matrix or an inkjet printer, print data one line at a time, and they use a print head. On a dot matrix printer, we have a head that has little pins inside of it that reach out and smack the paper through a ribbon, transferring the ink onto the paper. With an inkjet, we boil ink inside an ink reservoir and shoot a jet of ink out onto the paper. With laser printers, we do not use either of those types of technologies. Instead, what we do is we use a laser beam to transfer an image to a photosensitive drum. By doing this, we can use the laser going back and forth across this drum as it turns to create a mirror image of the document we want to print on this drum. And then, because the drum is charged, we can transfer ground up plastic called toner onto the surface of the drum, run a piece of paper underneath it, transfer the toner to the paper, and then run the paper between some heated wires called the fuser to actually melt the toner into place. Have you ever noticed that documents printed on a laser printer come out very, very warm? Well, that's because of these fusers down here that melt the plastic toner onto the paper itself. Laser printers, instead of printing one line at a time, actually print one page of data at a time. One page of data is transferred onto this drum, and one piece of paper at a time rolls through and has the image transferred onto it. And this brings up a very important point. If you're just printing simple text, you're just a simple text document, it doesn't take much memory in the, in the laser printer to transfer that image. Now, dot matrix and inkjet printers have very little memory because they only have to remember one line of data at a time as that print head goes across. Laser printers, on the other hand, have to have lots of memory because instead of just remembering one line at a time of data to be printed, they have to remember many lines of data at a time, an entire page. Straight text does not use up very much memory, but if you're printing a very large, complex graphic, it could take up tons of memory. If you ever print a document from a laser printer, and it's a complex image or a complex document, and the text goes down the screen and then stops right there, and it was supposed to keep going, but it stopped right there when it came out, you can bet that you don't have enough memory in your laser printer. That's because the memory got full when the data reached that point, and so the laser printer said, well, memory's full, got to print, can't put anything else in, and it ran the document on through. Now, modern laser printers don't have this problem as much, but boy, back in the late 1990s, you saw this problem all the time because printers didn't have enough memory, and complex Windows-based applications could create very, very complex documents that frankly the laser printers just didn't have enough memory to handle. So if you ever see that problem, just add some memory to your system and it'll fix it right up for you. So which one is better, a laser printer, a dot matrix printer, or an inkjet printer? Well, it depends on what you want the printer to do. Laser printers excel at producing high quality output for a very low cost, and they can also handle very large jobs. If you have a 300 page document that you need to print, chances are you don't want to run it through an inkjet printer. Why? Because the inkjet printers, although they do a great job with color and photos and things like that, are rather expensive to run. Ink cartridges don't hold a whole lot of ink and they're very expensive to replace. And they're relatively slow. It'll probably take a long time to get 300 pages out of an inkjet printer. Likewise, with a dot matrix printer, although they can be pretty fast, they don't produce as high quality of an image as a laser printer. Now, conversely, if you have a situation where you need forms to be printed in duplicate or triplicate, a laser printer doesn't do it. Why? Because it doesn't have any impact head to force the carbon copies to work. That's the job of a dot matrix printer. If you have, say, a point of cell system that uses uh, forms to print out receipts in duplicate, laser printer's not going to do it. Dot matrix printer will do you very well. Likewise, if you're concerned about printing color photos, say, from a digital camera, while there are good color laser printers available, usually an inkjet will do a much better job than the laser printer will. In short, pick the appropriate printer 